What are the best tips for increasing your home's value, keeping things budget friendly, and still getting sold in the ideal time frame? Stay tuned for part one of the series on selling your home coming up next. Hi folks, this is Scott Spiker with Front Door Realty here in Vancouver, your local home specialist. This channel is all about living, home buying and selling, exploring and enjoying the lifestyle of Vancouver, Washington and the Pacific Northwest. In this first video of the home selling series, we will talk about property image and how to make a solidly captivating presentation, whether online or in person. These days, image is everything, so your house must be represented in the best possible light to garner the highest possible price in the quickest time possible. One of the easiest, most affordable things you can do to ensure you get top dollar is paint. Cheap by comparison, a quality gallon might cost you $45 on the high end, New paint gives everything a fresh look and a new feel. Keep in mind every paint color has an undertone that is cool, warm, or neutral. Cool shades have a base that is slightly blue, green, or violet, while warm shades have a base that is slightly red, orange, or yellow. Neutral shades strike a perfect balance between warm and cool shades. Paint colors with warm undertones create a cheery, inviting atmosphere, generating the appearance of natural light. Conversely, cooler colored paints produce a calming, contemporary, low-key vibe. Generally, keep exterior things simple with one overall hue and possibly a single trim color. One popular neutral exterior color is grayish, which is a combination of gray and beige. Another popular hue is deep blue-gray, which has a nautical, serene feel and can work well for waterfront homes. Beyond that, think neutral, earthy colors like taupe, which is also popular in similar to grays, but a bit lighter and also warmer. Also consider a contrasting door color like burgundy, light blue, or light gray, depending on your main color. Generally, new exterior paint, if done right, can add between 2 and 5% to your bottom line selling price. Taupe also ends up being a good general interior color, especially for bigger inside rooms, think living rooms and kitchen. Light blue or soft gray in kitchens also provides a calming effect with versions of soft blue working well in bedrooms. Interior paint can raise your home's value as well, an additional 1 to 3%. Also keep in mind colors can be influenced by home environments such as forested acreage or lakeside waterfront. But make sure you don't end up with the exact same color as your neighbors, especially if houses are closely spaced. And as far as poor choice colors go, avoid dressing your home in clown's clothes, especially bright, bold yellow. Lighting really sets the mood for your listing. A well-lit exterior not only invites buyers but can discourage troublemakers. Buyers may not consciously think about it but will probably feel safer in brighter areas. Start inside by making sure each room has adequate light, no dark areas or dark corners. For homes built prior to the 2000s with all those brass fixtures, plan on replacing most if not all of them. For upgrades, brushed nickel or oil rub bronze are great choices. Black fixtures can also work well. And keep in mind, things don't necessarily have to be super exotic, but you don't want to look super dated either. Then we have smells. Home houseitosis, if you will. If you are an animal lover or animal owner, you probably have become accustomed to the smell of your pet or pets. But that doesn't mean there isn't an odor there somewhere that someone else will definitely notice. The simple fix is to groom your pet and deodorize the inside. Carpet stains may require a deep cleaning and may be necessary or you may have to replace the whole carpet if it's been an ongoing problem contaminating the carpet padding underneath. Getting curtains washed or cleaned will usually help with odors as well. And with those carpeted floors, be sure to look for flattened areas which indicate long-lasting stains. Keep in mind also, cheap artificial smells can be obtrusive 
and may make folks think you're trying to hide something or cover something up. So stay away from overly sweet, flowery fragrances. Mild, fresh baked smells are good as are other subtle food aromas and some basic essential oils as long as they are not too overpowering. Just remember, some folks are super sensitive to artificial fragrances, so sometimes a simple candle diffuser can provide a pleasing, minimal background fragrance. What about minor updates? Typically, kitchen and bathroom updates when kept affordable will generally reward you with an almost even rate of return for money spent and can be what bring other people in during home showings over competitors in the region. But not all price points are the same, nor are all circumstances. Depending on asking price and location, it may not make any difference at all. And that's just because of the current inventory shortage that we're experiencing in this area right now. If you currently have a home you're thinking of listing and would like to know whether it's worth investing in updates, I can offer some suggestions based on what's currently happening in our particular market and help with some specific ideas. For a free, no obligation consultation, be sure to reach out using my contact information in the description area below this video. Generally, minor bathroom updates will usually give you a 100% return on investment, sometimes more. More meaning, or actually minor meaning, replacing laminate countertops with a piece of granite, new faucets, new towel rods, and new lighting fixtures. Think about the competition. If they have reasonably new updated faucets, fixtures, and lighting, then you may want to consider an adjustment or similar upgrades to be in the same offering range. Granite counters are where it's at in the kitchen too, and it's been that way for the last 15 to 20 years. Stone is still popular. Solid surface counters are a close second, they save you a bit, but you can't go wrong with granite. And sometimes you can get a good deal on second cuts or remnants from your local stone supply outlets, making it as affordable as other solid surface options. Minor kitchen fixes and updates end up being about the same with about a 90% ROI or better. Also consider replacing outdated white appliances with stainless or at least black and go with the middle of the road quality, not the cheapest thing that you could find. If you have found this video informative, you will probably like others in the Selling Homes series, so check those out. And in the meantime, I will see you in the next go-round.